Yes, today we are going to revise again how to write the ionic formula. So, as I get feedback from the students, so some of you didn't get the idea uh, very well. That's why we are going to revise. We will combine two uh, previous topics. Writing chemical formula of ionic compounds. Again, we will practice cross-writing or seesaw method. So let's start. Again, uh, you remember this uh, table. We are going to use this one again. So simple metal and non-metal ions firstly. As you see on the left hand side and right uh, in the middle, you can see metal ions and non-metal ions. Okay, lithium oxide. So which ions present? We will look at lithium and oxide. So uh, today we are going to use another method. Let's balance positive and negative charge. We have only one positive charge and my one neg negative two charge. So we need one more lithium to balance the charge plus two by minus two. Right now we have total charge of zero. So we used uh, two lithium ions and one oxygen ion. That's why we the formula is going to be like this: two lithium and one oxygen. Li Li two, Li two O. It's going to be like this okay so let's do another example calcium chloride so calcium ions and chloride ions and uh, so let's balance the positive and negative charge in this case we will need two chlorides to balance one calcium that's why uh, we will use two chloride in this formula and total charge is going to be zero again and we used one calcium and two chloride ions. The formula is going to be CaCl2. Okay, now calcium sulfide. Which ions present? Calcium and sulfide ions. And uh, let's balance the positive and negative charge. They are already balanced, plus two by minus two. So the total charge is going to be zero. And uh, so we used one calcium and one sulfide ion. The formula is going to be calcium CaS. Uh, calcium is one, uh, sulfur is also one. Another example, potassium nitride. Which ions present? Potassium and nitride. N minus three. So as we can guess, we will need uh, how many potassiums? How many potassiums? Yes, we will need three potassiums to balance uh, one nitrite. So the formula is going to be K3N. All right, let's go with aluminum oxide. So aluminum has plus three charge, oxide minus two charge. So to balance the, them, if we add one more uh, aluminum it will be plus six and one more uh, oxide minus four then if we put one more oxygen we are going to have plus six and minus six as you see we can balance the charge like this so we have used two aluminum ions and two oxide ions and the formula is going to be Al2 oxygen 3 it means two aluminum and three oxygen are combined all right now sodium sulfate sulfate is a polyatomic ion we have learned this one so sodium and sulfate ions present so sulfate has minus two charge so to balance the uh, charge we need one more sodium so we are going to have plus 2 and minus 2 in total and the total charge is going to be 0 so we use two sodium ions and one sulfate ion 
so we will write like this two sodium and one sulfate if the if uh, there is in a uh, index of one in sulfate we don't use uh, as you see a bracket we get calcium carbonate uh, calcium and carbonate ions so the charge are already balanced plus 2 by minus 2 so we don't need to add any ion here so just we will use one calcium and one sal uh, sorry uh, this is incorrect one carbonate ion so the formula is going to be CaCO3 now uh, let's look at calcium phosphate in this example they have uh, positive uh, 2 and negative 3 so in order to balance we will add one calcium positive 4 but negative 3 if we add the uh, one more uh, phosphate it's going to be uh, negative 6 uh, by positive 4 so one more uh, calcium is added so we have positive 6 and negative 6 how many calciums are used here 3 calcium ions are used 2 phosphate ions are used that's why we write 3 calcium and in bracket phosphate and outside the bracket 2 2 means that we have used 2 phosphate ions so in this uh, table we have learned again so you can see the ratios of the ions let's look at magnesium nitrate magnesium nitrate which is uh, below the last one above the last one sorry uh, magnesium nitrate uh, magnesium has positive 2 nitrate has minus 2 so we need two nitrates to balance the magnesium so the ratio is going to be 1 by 2 so the formula is going to be magnesium in brackets nitrate and outside the bracket 2 it means we have used two nitrates okay so you can uh, see the uh, in this table you can um, investigate this table in your books as well so uh, let's look at CSO method uh, which is another method to write the chemical formula sodium oxide so which ions present sodium and oxide ions we don't write the charge right now so charge on the ions plus one and by minus two so we take the uh, charge and take to the what under the each species in this formula so it's going to be like this sodium two oxygen one so in order to balance one oxide we need two sodium again if we uh, use the previous method uh, that I have uh, taught right now so this is another method CSO method is uh, so whichever uh, is convenient for you you can use uh, so you uh, so you will have the the same uh, result aluminum sulfide look at aluminum sulfide aluminum and sulfide ions so aluminum has plus three charge and sulfide has minus two charge if we cross write or see so method we will get a formula al2 oxygen 3 okay now aluminum sulfate sulfate is an polyatomic ion so we write aluminum and sulfate then aluminum has plus three sulfate has minus two charge so if we write if we cross write the charge we will get this formula al2 so4 3 uh, if it is more than one sulfate so we have to take it in brackets so in total charge if we combine the first method and second method if we, uh, if we if we look at the total charge we have two positive two three sorry uh, positive six and three minus two three sulfates comes with uh, minus six and total charge is again 